Okay, first of all, why this campaign? Uh, it, they extended a well-established TV presence. In other words, everybody knows, who's Di everybody knows who Disney is. Everybody knows who Disney on Ice is, right? But they added a comprehensive Facebook campaign to su support what Disney was doing on TV, uh, and it ran in April, May of 2013. Um, we all know that n television works better. I, 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 let me do a sidebar here. Uh, we all talked about, we all worried about the fact that TV was dying, right? For years we've heard television's dying, television's dying. Well, a funny thing happened on the way to our death. What we found is the only thing that works better than television is television and the internet, right? And so when TV and digital, TV when social media, when they work together, it's an incredibly powerful force, more powerful than anything alone. None of these mediums are perfect, but they all work. And when they work together, they work really, really well. And that's what these guys have done with this particular campaign. TV works better when it's paired with an online medium, and that's what they did. They, they took a very unique solution to a constant issue with traveling shows, which is how do you make the show fresh? How do you make it interesting? How do you make it new and different for people? And this idea applies to any event-oriented campaign that you would have in your marketplace. So this doesn't just have to work for Disney. This could be a concert promoter. This could be a local theater in your marketplace. This idea could work with any of those. First of all, program details. April 24th to May 16th is when this aired, obviously prior to the Disney on Ice. WEAR, they built a tab on their Facebook page. Has a lot of extra engaging content. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I even tried it. Quizzes, polls, puzzles, photos, downloadable coloring sheets. Incorporated their like button into it to capture potential customers. They sent regular trivia posts to people who came online. And the digital component actually became 22% of the order. It's a huge amount of an order to get 22% of it committed to digital. But the reason Disney did that is they liked their idea so much. Here's a picture of their page. Now, if you go on their page, uh, the Disney on Ice page for WEAR. That's a puzzle you can see right there. I went online and I tried to work that puzzle. I'm not smart enough to do it. I don't know enough about the Disney characters to know which heads fit on which bodies. But again, th this whole page is filled with things like jigsaw puzzles, quizzes, trivia. Who do you like? Who do you recommend? Who's the coolest of this group? On the left hand side, uh, you know, a like button. Which Disney princess would you be if you were a Disney princess? I did not fill out that portion, I want you to know. Anyway, great idea, great digital idea. We have no video because this was the idea right here. Disney loved it. They've already worked with the station on their next campaign. Total digital response to a, an age-old problem, which is how do you take something that's been in the market over and over again, make it fresh, make it different, engage children and their parents as well in a very positive way. So that's WEAR. Meg Williamson, thank you for sending in that idea.